Breaking news, a man is now charged in a fatal crash in Milwaukee. The charges against 24-year-old Papa Diallo come hours after a second person died. Investigators say Diallo took off from a traffic stop Tuesday night and crashed into another car at 27th and St. Paul. 12 News' Nick Bohr is live there now. Nick, a 65-year-old woman died overnight. Right, and she was the driver of that car struck by the fleeing vehicle. The car is all winding up here in this gas station parking lot. Uh, she died last night. Her passenger, a 69-year-old man, died at the scene. Now, they haven't been identified yet, but the sheriff's office describing them as a couple from Muskego. We uh, have also uncovered new information about the driver who was just charged. As you mentioned, he was free on bail at the time for fleeing Hartford police last fall. Surveillance video shows the speeding car on 27th Street run the red light and T-bone another car on St. Paul Avenue. Got a vehicle taken off from me. Oh, crash, 27th and St. Paul, crash, crash. The catastrophic crash Tuesday night came seconds after a Milwaukee Sheriff's deputy tried to pull the driver over. He's now identified as 24-year-old Papa Diallo of Milwaukee, just charged with seven felonies. Crashed into two other vehicles. I'm trying to get one out of the car now. We got one unresponsive. A 69-year-old man in the T-bone car was killed instantly. The 65-year-old woman driving died overnight. 12 News reported Thursday, Diallo was free on $3,000 cash bail from this Heartland police pursuit in September that began when an officer tried to pull him over for speeding. He later crashed and ran from the car. We've obtained new video of his arrest, the footage from a Waukesha Sheriff's Office drone as an officer on the ground gave him orders. You need to walk up with your hands up, all the way up, nothing in your hands. You understand me? In Waukesha County, Diallo was charged with fleeing police, recklessly endangering safety, possession of marijuana, and carrying a concealed handgun and ammunition. But he was released on $3,000 bail days later. And despite an arrest after that for driving without a license and a bail jumping charge, his bail was never increased. And he was still awaiting trial in Waukesha County at the time of Tuesday's crash. Nick, prosecutors say Diallo was taken to a hospital where he was found to have a gun on him. Right. Heart, uh, the, uh, according to the complaint, I should say, a nurse found a handgun in his pants pocket. In that Heartland case as well, prosecutors said he had a gun that time too. The charges in this new case include two counts of first degree reckless homicide and fleeing from the deputy at speeds estimated at more than 70 miles an hour. Nick Bohr, thank you. And we don't know the identity of those two victims who died. You can watch Nick's previous investigation on the suspected driver right now on the 12 News app.